Well, good evening, all my little fluffs, puffs, bunnies, and cuddly critters out there. Daisy here with you tonight, and, uh, well, it's going to be a thoughts video. And uh, tonight we're going to do another one of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Boy, that's a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> so, continuing on where I'd left off with the last one, I figure I'd go and finish off the sequel to this one, as it currently stands. Ant-Man and Wasp which is the sequel to Ant-Man. Uh, spoiler alerts, of course. This is me talking about movies. I do my best to not spoil things, but just in case, spoiler alert. So, this movie theoretically happens uh, shortly after Civil War. So, uh, Scott Lang, Ant-Man, is starts off in under house arrest uh, and he's wearing an ankle bracelet and uh, he's like completely not allowed to leave the house or the FBI comes and searches the whole place which happens pretty darn quickly in the, the movie so uh, that's not spoiling that's telling what happens in the first like five minutes of the movie <laughs> good news though um, him and his former crew have uh, started a security uh, services uh, firm, and they're installing security systems for people. Good on them. Um, and due to good relations with his ex-wife and his, you know, daughter's stepdad, they have uh, got visitation rights. So uh, we have good interaction with him and his kid actually being a good dad. And to start the movie off with good dad moments was wonderful. He's spending time with his daughter, just playing uh, adventurers and stuff. And that was just beautiful. I love that. That was the best way to start this movie off. It was silly. It was fun. It showed that he actually loved his kid. And, yeah, that was a good way, to, that's a good way to get going. Um, no question asked. Uh, we do get a lot of good interaction with his uh, crew, especially his uh, Mexican friend. I can't remember the character's name, but I just love him. He is just such a hoot. I, 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 still, I still like the, uh, being in the system. <laughs> oh, that will never ever get old. <laughs> uh, so, theoretically, he doesn't have the Ant-Man suit at this point. Uh, he does, but he's pretending like he doesn't. Uh, he had mailed it back to himself from Germany uh, <laughs> uh, by the Postal Service and uh, has kept it hidden in tiny form in his place this whole time. Uh, <clears throat> So he has a dream, uh, Scott has a dream, uh, where he is his girlfriend's mother, but it's not a dream, it's a f memory pushover from his girlfriend's mother, the Wasp, I can't remember her character's name, um, and it's because when he was in the tiny zone at the end of the first movie, Apparently they had some interaction or whatever, and, uh, cool. So he's connected to her. And she's apparently still alive. Yay! And that's kind of the plot of the movie. We're trying to rescue her from the, uh, super-duper itty-bitty micro scopo zone. Uh, yeah. Plot's okay. All right. In general, it was an okay plot. Um, and the villains involved here were kind of iffy. Uh, we had some random criminals that were trying to do stuff, steal things, uh, from possibly Ant-Man. Uh, they were very bad at their jobs. <laughs> Uh, they were kind of just an annoyance to the movie. I didn't feel like they 
add anything major uh, to the plot. And we had our primary uh, villain, which was the, I think it was called the Ghost. Uh, and she was kind of out of phase due to some accident with shrinking or something. Um, and her uh, handler was, uh, I don't remember his character's name, but it had Lawrence Fishburne as said handler, who, as he does in many movies, played the kind of friend, kind of not friend, kind of your, he's on your side, but he's not, and you find out later he really was on your side. Or maybe he was, maybe what, you know, one of those kind of characters. You never know if he was really ever your friend or your enemy, because it changes. <laughs> but he plays it really well, so I'm not going to complain about that. He does a good job of being that guy. Uh, and he does have a really good presence on screen, so it's never... I've never been depressed when I see him pop on the screen. He's always seemed so pleasant, and the the eye draws to him. He's he's a good looking guy with a good looking personality, and just has a a catchy smile. You, you, you know, it's pleasant, contagious, cool guy. I hope he's nice in real life, cause. In movies, he's just such a fun one to be around with. You just want to go on an adventure with him. He's like a Gandalf. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we have um, Hank Pym and his daughter trying to go to the micro-universe to save his wife, her mother. Uh, these other two trying to Steel said technology so they can go in there and get his mother, or her mother, his original wasp. Okay, just original wasp from this point on. Uh, <laughs> too many additives to a name. Uh, so we'll have her, they're, they're trying to steal the, 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 the lab where they're doing this so that they can go back into the micro-universe, kidnap her, break her down so that they can heal the ghost who is kind of breaking down. She's been kind of like almost out of phase this whole time and she's going to die soon because of it. But, uh, yeah. And they have really made use of the, uh, the pin particles in the shrinking and growing stuff. Uh, they have a, a Hot Wheels rally case. The, the thing looked like a, a wheel full of actual cars. They had shrunk down. So all they had to do was pull out a car and boop, boop, full-size car. <laughs> uh, also, their lab shrinks down and has a luggage uh, extended pulley arm so they could like, walk around like uh, wheeled luggage. It is amusing. That, okay, that is silly, stupid, and just perfect. Uh, <laughs> I, I cannot say that was a bad idea. All of that was fun. Uh, and at some point, we have Scott Lang turning, instead of tiny, to ginormous, super big. Bigger than he did in the Civil War movie. Which I haven't talked about yet, but it's, it's on the to-do list. There's a lot of movies. Give me a break. I can't have done everything yet. Oh. Anyway, uh, so he gets really big at some point. Uh, which is cool. Um, I'd like to say this one had a lot of fun stuff going on. It was a really good ride in general. The plot is the only thing that I think it was lacking really in. All the characters are on point. All of the interactions on point. All the action was great. Why it was happening, it, it just oftentimes felt like that was just kind of secondary in this game. I'm pretty okay with that. I'm, I'm definitely not downing on this movie. It's one of my favies. Um, not, not top, but it's definitely high up there in, in fun things to watch. 
We get the Wasp in action. Uh, we have the Ant-Man in action with her. Uh, he gets stuck the size of a kid for a little bit and is and is in a school, so that was kind of funny. Uh, again, it seems like things happen in this movie. Whether or not they make a big impact, whether or not we have a plot that you're really following, kind of seems like it was just something added in to tie all this fun stuff together. Like, I want to make him the size of a kid. Okay, we need to find an excuse why we have to have him at a school so that that makes uh, sense and is extra funny. Cool. Well, we'll write that in somehow. I want the lab to be able to be moved like a suitcase. I don't know why we're going to do that, but we're going to do that. And it, it happened. And uh, so we had a suitcase sized lab. And that was kind of cool. Uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. I, I had a good time and, uh, I'll keep watching it again. Uh, obviously I own it on the Blu-rays. Is that Blu-ray and DVD? No, just plain Blu-ray. No Blu-ray and DVD. One flavor. And guy and Waspo. And lots of people picture on the back. Because, because I can't hold things. <laughs> uh... Overall, yeah, they do rescue uh, the original Wasp, which is fun. That's good. Glad we had a conclusion. Uh, and this one uh, kind of tie-in end points to uh, Infinity War, because in the uh, closing credits bit, uh, Scott is for some reason going back into the micro-universe. Everyone else is standing out as kind of his controller. And they all get poofed while he's stuck in there. Uh, this ends up tying into uh, Endgame when he comes out and everybody's surprised um, because he was stuck in the micro-universe for like five years until he broke his way out. <laughs> uh, so that's a thing. Um... Well, it was a movie. That was a pretty good movie. It wasn't the best movie, but it's it's a fun ride. I'd rank it right up there with things I'd watch for just the giggles, like Starship Troopers. Not as much caring about the plot, but all the fun stuff that happens along the way. It's a fun ride. It's got a lot of action. It's got a lot of good adventure, and got a lot of good jokes. And every bit that you're on screen with characters, you're with them. You don't know why they're doing what they're doing, but you're kind of there. <sighs> well, that's my babble on this. Do you have any thoughts on it? Go ahead. Comment box below. Let me know. Good, bad, otherwise, I'd like to hear your opinion. Uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you never see it? Pfft, I don't know. I'm not you. That's, that's what the comment box is for. That way I learn. I don't want to just be a dumb bunny. I want to know what you're thinking. <laughs> Anywho, please don't forget to like and subscribe. The little dingly bell for the little dingly bell lets you know when I post new videos. Who knows? Could be a Daisy video. I record a lot of her, and you just watched her. Obviously, you liked her a little. Yay! Uh, and in the description box below is both my Patreon link and my coffee link. Both are good ways to donate to the channel if you're so inclined. I don't require them for any reason whatsoever. I don't hide anything behind the paywall, but I appreciate every bit that gets given because it helps support the channel and helps me make you better videos. Yay! Because I spend way too much money on stupid stuff to help make this channel better anyway. It's basically an extremely big loss right now, but I'm having fun. <laughs> so, anyway, you're all amazing. I'm glad you spent some time with me tonight. I hope to see you again real soon, and uh, keep hopping and happy. Bye-bye, bun-buns.